Alright folks, I am at a brand new area. It's not too large at all, but it is by some pretty old houses. Well, just right out here, right over Main Street. First good target. It looks like a coin. It's very, very chewy though. Don't know if I'll even be able to figure out what it is. It sounds like a weedy, but let me do some work on it. Very chewy. Could be an Indian though. Okay, got a good target. It's a coin, I just plucked it out. Definitely a coin. Ooh, 1958 D's. So that makes it a last year weedy. Very cool. Hopefully there's some silver in here. I was getting a 54 signal. But I don't think there's friends. Alright. Weedy, weedy excitement. Just got a really good signal. 70s to 80s. Oh, it's a button. Oh, a water birdie button. Oh, what kind is this? <gasps> oh my word. Is this a silver button? Holy cow, that is very, very shiny for a button. It's either silver plated or I found a silver button. I think it's silver plated. Holy moly. Check that out. Let me uh, clean it up a little bit and I will get right back with you. Holy cow. Okay. There's the design. Don't know what it is. Definitely plated. So you can see the silver wash coming off of it. It's the back. Waterbury button company, I think. Very cool. Bent over shank. That is one of the nicest buttons I've ever found, except for that uh, 1920 uh, great coat button. Very cool. Very pleased with that button. I believe this is an old spark plug of sorts. It's got writing on it. It says USA. Oh, cannot read the rest, but USA. Solid uh, copper brass. I think that's a spark plug. Something along those lines. Go ahead and do a live dig. An 80 signal, but it's very choppy. Like, crunchy. Kind of like how Indians sound, but I don't think it's an Indian. It might be a Zinkin, if anything. I don't think it's a Zinkin, though. So, we'll see. 82, 83 now, it sounds much better. It's a coin. Is it? Yeah, it's a dime. <laughs> oh, clad dime, 76. Oh well. That's why it was ringing up a little higher that time. Well, I believe we have another button. This I think the shank's broken off. Can't tell for sure until I see in there, unless it was a snap button, which it could have been a snap button. But I think that was everything in the hole. Yep, nothing's too deep except for that first uh, coin I dug. Oh, another coin. Sounded like silver. Uh, 19. 26 so it's an old one at least okay this sounds exactly like silver solid 83 those are definite silver numbers or like brand new clad dime but this is like less than a foot away from that 1926 so I have high hopes 83, 84, perfect still. It's even deeper than that weedy was, I think. 
Okay. Oh, what did I tell you? Silver, Mercury dime. All right, 1944. Same as my last Mercury dime. 1944, Silver Smile. Look at that, that is an astonishing Mercury dime. Doesn't get much better than that. When you can see those lines wrapping around the pillar there, and the middle line even, ooh, you know you got a very, very, very good looking Mercury dime. Very pleased with that. Beautiful buttons, old coins. What more could you ask for? The battery's running low, but this is even deeper. 83, 84. This is all sand and like no grass, so don't really have to pop a popper plug. Still in there, 83, 84. Can we go for back to back silver? Nope, we cannot, but we can go for another wheat. Very cool. Let's see the year. Last one was a 40s. This is a 45. All right. Maybe there was a uh, coins fill. Nope, no coins fill. Okay, I haven't gotten anything else uh, like mid tones good, but 81, 82, 83. It's probably a coin. Judging by how deep it is, it's probably old. There's a lot of rocks here. That's not normal for this area. It's still deep. Unless it's in the back here. Yep, coin 61S, not even a weedy. Close, but no cigar. Okay, you probably can't really tell, but the sun is getting very dark on the horizon. It looks pretty good through the camera though. Um, scrap copper, I think that's a fuse of some sort. It says 57 on it, you would say 57. Uh, SC something another. Got a little screw, brass or copper screw, a little wheel. We got a button, kind of like a snap button, I believe. We also got a silver wash button, a gorgeous one. Waterbury Company on the back. Sorry, it's dark, so it's having trouble focusing. Shanks bent over. I'm gonna look that up because that is probably very, very cool. Lead, we got our Mercury Dime, 1944. I didn't even check to see if there was a mint, no mint, but that is stunning. That's probably very fine condition, if not better. Um, a Wheaties, oh, that's not a Wheaties. 1961S, uh, 1945, 1958D, 1926, um, 76. Uh, we got this one, I worked really hard at it and it is a memorial um zinkins and memorial oh not too bad we had an hour and a half today <clears throat> i also dug a ridiculous amount of trash and pool tabs there's a lot more in the bottom of the bag too just a ton of stuff oh here's another zinkin in there and more lead I um, just wanted to get a feel for the area, and it's definitely old. I was hoping on an Indian or maybe like a barber or something, but so we're in a very old part of town, but I have uh, like seven spots that I found that I want to check out, so checking this one out today, and we're going to go and check a few out. I'm just kind of testing the waters. Don't have a whole lot of time because I'm working, but... We had about an hour and a half today, and this is my favorite farm of the day, by far. That gilt, or silver wash, whatever you want to call it, is amazing. Little flat button, I don't find too many, well it's not a flat button, it's a two piece button, but I don't find many shank buttons, and I found two, two days in a row. 
so awesome hope you enjoyed this video uh, my battery is flashing at me so I have to get going but thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next